Hello, welcome to the Met Office 10-day trend. Temperatures this November have been pretty topsy-turvy and after a mild midweek it looks likely to turn colder as we begin the next 10 days. But the end of this week and the start of the weekend should be mostly dry. Now, by the end of the weekend, the weather turns unsettled again. There'll be some rain turning up and further bouts of rain at times through next week. But we've got cold air across the country as that rain arrives, and that means there's the risk that the rain will turn to snow for a time over the high ground of the north. But before we get there, it is mild as we end Wednesday. A lot of misty low cloud across southern parts, wind and rain in the north. And we begin Thursday with this cold front crossing the country, but it weakens. And by Thursday morning, it's no more than an area of cloud and a brief spell of rain as it moves through Wales and the Midlands. But it does separate the country between very mild air in the south or east, 13 Celsius, and much colder air to the northwest, seven degrees. And as these blustery showers move into northwestern areas, well, we could see sleet and snow over the Scottish mountains. Now, on Thursday, we clear the weather front from the southeast and a ridge of high pressure builds in for the start of Friday. That means for many places, it's a fine end to the week. Plenty of beautiful, crisp November sunshine. A different story, though, for central and northern Scotland. Here, a weather front will provide the focus for frequent blustery showers, gales near coasts, and in the cold air. Again, we're likely to see some hill snow. Eight degrees, though, a fairly typical temperature at low levels across the country as we end the working week. The start of the weekend follows a similar pattern. Strong winds, wintry showers over the hills of the north, but elsewhere a lot of dry and bright weather. High pressure is close by, but this area of low pressure, well, it introduces a little bit of uncertainty because there is a small chance that it will extend a lobe of cloud and rain into southwestern parts during Saturday. Something we're keeping a close eye on, but on the whole, Friday and Saturday look mainly dry. There will be showers in the north and snow over the hills, and for many of us it's going to feel chilly with overnight frosts during Friday, Saturday and into the start of Sunday. The cold air being brought about by a northwesterly jet stream. Now the jet stream is a fast-flowing current of air high in the sky that tends to pick up weather systems and move them around the globe. And you can see during Wednesday into Thursday and by Friday that jet stream is coming from the northwest. It's extending these blue hues. It's turning the weather colder across the British Isles. But if we zoom around into the mid-Atlantic, well, these warmer colours, this tropical air in the mid-Atlantic is being picked up by a southwesterly jet stream. And for the second half of the weekend, well, it looks like that air will start to win. It's being carried by these areas of low pressure, and the first one starts to move in later Sunday. So after a bright but frosty start to Sunday, it looks likely that this low pressure will bring in a spell of wind, cloud, and rain across the country. Now, as that rain bumps into the colder air, we could see some snow over the Scottish mountains. But it does clear later Monday. So after a wet start to the working week next week, it does turn drier again for a time. A ridge of high pressure builds in later Monday. But look at this, more rain waiting to the west. It's not going to move in particularly quickly though, and that's because the jet stream is in a meandering sort of mood. Here's the jet stream. It looks a bit more like an old river rather than a fast-flowing current. And when it's in this sort of mood, things don't move very quickly. We're going to see our weather patterns become a bit more stuck. And that means, well, it looks like things are going to get quite complicated. Cold air across northern and eastern parts of the UK early next week will be pushed away by mild air from the Atlantic. Rain comes in, but as that rain meets the cold air, there's always the chance of snow over the hills of the north. So early next week, big contrasts across the country. There will be bands of rain moving through, and that rain will be accompanied by mild air in the south. But we could cling on to cold air in the north. We could see some hill snow at times. In between bouts of rain, of course, there'll be clear skies, and under those clear skies, frosty temperatures at night. This is days 8 to 7 to 10, and across northern areas it looks likely that we'll see colder than average temperatures. Southern areas, more likely that we'll see milder than average temperatures as 
areas of rain move in from the west. In between, always the chance of hill snow, frost and fog. So to sum up, days 7 to 10, it's likely to be milder and wetter at times in the south. Colder temperatures in the north and for all of us, fog, frost and perhaps some hill snow. Of course, none of this is unexpected or unusual in November.